Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com here with my Galaxy S4. Actually, to do a review on the Android 5.0 Lollipop update on it. It's been on it for a little while now, but wanted to keep you guys updated with all of these uh, manufacturers that are updating their older devices to Lollipop. So, I'm going to go ahead and show off the new operating system, show off some changes as well, especially on the S4. Looks a lot different because it's coming from KitKat. I will also do an updated rooting video for those of you on the S4, so stay tuned for that. But, anyways, let's go ahead and check out the update. All right, so here is the S4 running 5.0 Lollipop to show you that I'm actually going to go to About Device. Uh, scroll down, you'll see Android version 5.0.1. If you want a quick Easter egg, it's actually updated from KitKat. You press and hold on this, and you can play a game, actually, Android Flappy Bird, if you're interested in that. Let's go ahead and go home, because there are other aesthetic changes. On the lock screen, there are now notifications. So you'll see I have notifications that I can actually interact on. You'll see I can swipe them away. I can tap on it to go into that specific app. You still have your camera shortcut and your uh, dialer shortcut as well, along with swiping to unlock. Now the home screen's changed a bit, in a sense, not much to the um, app drawer and the home screen, but you press and hold, or you can press the menu button and you have wallpapers right here. It's actually a lot easier to change your wallpaper now. Uh, widgets as well, you can just go into and then you'll see a whole list of your widgets. And then home screen settings right here. You only have one home screen setting. Transition effects, so you can have none where it's just straight over card stack or 3D rotation. So it's kind of up to you which one you want to use. Now another update is the pull down bar. So pulling it down once gets you your notifications along with some quick panel widgets right here. You have S Finder and Quick Connect right there. Um, if you press this icon or use two fingers to swipe down, you have a full list of these, um, pretty, pretty similar to what they were before. Um, pressing on settings, you have recommended apps. Uh, you can set the quick settings buttons. You'll see you have other extra available ones as well. Now with the Lollipop update comes material design. So some of the apps got updated. Here's the messaging app. You'll see a compose button right down there. Uh, just overall a little, a little different aesthetically. The dialer's a lot different. You'll see a light theme to it as opposed to the dark theme that was actually on KitKat. The uh, calculator got updated. As you can see, another light theme. And then the clock is just a little bit different with alarms, world clock, stopwatch, timer, desk clock as well. Now with volume, actually it did not implement the lollipop, uh, I guess, feature. Some people actually didn't like it where you can have them it mute indefinitely, priority only. It literally is the exact same with silent mode, vibrate, and sound, which actually I prefer personally, so I'm glad they decided to keep that. And going into the Chrome application, they've actually merged tabs with Chrome. So loading it up, you'll see find your tabs here. Um, and we're just going to go ahead and go into it and I'll show you. So if I go home now and then I press and hold, the recent apps uh, are going to show up. And this is different. So a lot different here. As you can see, you have a Google Now button. You have a Clear All button, which I didn't actually mean to just press there. So if I go to Chrome, you'll see that the tab is in there. If I edit a new tab, it would be a completely separate one here. I actually don't like this. I personally don't use it, but you have that option in Lollipop. All right, let's go into the settings, which has been updated. You'll see the toggles look a little bit different. It's, uh, I guess, more light. You have, I mean, this is just the categorized settings. One thing that's added in Lollipop is the smart lock feature. So I'm gonna show that. I'm gonna set up a screen pattern right now. So after I've set that lock screen, actually you need to go into more and then security and then scroll down and trust agents. You'll see smart lock is there. And then down at the bottom here, there's a smart lock option, which you need to confirm your password. And then to show you what this is, is basically you have trusted devices. So if you're connected to a smartwatch, it's going to bypass security of trusted places. And now you have trusted face as well. So I'm going to show you this real quick. Okay, so I don't know if this is actually going to work, but we're going to test it with me behind the camera. It says got it, added trusted face. I'm going to hit next, all set. It's interesting that the S4 has this because the S5 did not. So actually kind of weird. So now that trusted face is on, um, I wonder if it's actually going to work. I'm going to try. I'm going to turn this on. And then you'll see I'm looking at it and it disappeared, the pattern. So I can just swipe and it's going to unlock. So a really nice added feature. And then the final thing I wanted to show you is actually just the status bar. You might have noticed throughout this video, but you'll see the status bar kind of changes colors depending on what 
specific application you're in, etc. Uh, just another aesthetic change with the material design. But that's really about it, everything I want to show you. Uh, you still have all your gestures, your features, all that stuff. Unfortunately, they did not include multi-users, so you have no option to add multiple accounts. Uh, but overall, that's Lollipop on the Galaxy S4. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Click subscribe as well, I'd really appreciate it. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. All links in the description of the video below. And once again, thanks for watching.